there's a very good section of corners in Canada, section of road really, after turn one, as they come out of turn one and then have to brake for turn two, which is the hairpin, there's, there's virtually no room to get the car absolutely straight for the braking, hard braking into two. So you either compromise your exit out of two or you go into, sorry, comp compromise your exit out of one or you go into two with the car a little bit unsettled and hope that because it's a slow corner, it won't be too big a drama. But there is a straight after that, so it is a drama. And that's where you'll see Max. This is another thing that Max will be doing incredibly well. He'll be creating, literally creating, a sort of millisecond when he's got the car with very little load right in the middle of the change of direction where he's just going to get the car stopped. And he's going to brake efficiently at that point. And by the time you've blinked, the car will be just going nicely into two. And you'll think, wow, it's cornering on rails. He's got so much grip. What he's done is just found that he's just found the perfect moment on the change of direction to do it. And Lewis will be really good at that as well. I, I guess Charles will be. I'm hoping it will be for Charles' sake. But that's where I think you'll see a Carlos or a Perez or perhaps a George, maybe a Lando or two all you know at some point they're going to break with too much load that way or this way and you're going to see one of these but max will be it'll look to the eye it'll look absolutely seamless but that's a really good bit of road just there i think it's the best bit of road in canada there's spectacular bits of road there's also quite a good bit after the what is it the first chicane when they it's quite fast there but it's the, the exit of that chicane i mean that chicane is quite a quick chicane and and it, it's very it rewards drivers who are incredibly precise. So George will be really good through there. But it's not a great, but after that's very quick and the road curves, but it's flat. So it's not really, and, and then you break, you've got a couple of high speed braking areas, which are good. And that's where maybe Lance will maybe be able to find a little bit over Fernando. I th you know, possible that from high speed, Lance will be focusing on his braking rather than, you know, just jabbing the brakes and hoping for the best which is kind of what Fernando does because he knows he's got the reflexes to handle it, which is why he does it. I mean, high-speed braking into the last chicane is critical because if you've got stability at the end of the braking area approaching your rotation point, your chicane's done. That last bit coming out, hitting the wall or not hitting the wall, that's all for reactive drivers who have got it slightly wrong on the entry, have got a bobble on the car under braking, maybe hit the curb too much on the apex, or maybe given it not enough steering and then too much steering going into the right-hander. All those, all those sorts of drivers. But it's not for Max Verstappen type drivers because all the work for that one, that last chicane, is all in the first part of the corner. And after, once they're there, you're just diving to the exit of the corner. Uh, but it's all about high-speed braking, and it's all about this millisecond of warning the car what's going to happen next which is the hard braking and making sure the load is on the front and the car is stopping efficiently and that's why you might see max apart from the fact that he's bringing to a later rotation point than many drivers because he's extending the straight extending the exit as well uh, apart from that it's also that max will be uh, probably the thing they whoever is doing all that measurement of who's breaking, you know, where, going into the last corner, wherever it is, they come up with these graphics. Probably when Max is doing his initial thing, it's not registering. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. So we're not getting a true reading of Max anyway. He's probably breaking even earlier than they thought. But he's breaking, you know, he's... What they need to be doing, if they're going to do Max compared with Perez breaking into the hairpin... They need to say, okay, this is the this is the measurement point for the start. But where is what are they breaking to? Because Max is breaking to a different point to Perez. I bet they're not taking that into account when they're doing this thing. M.A. Khan. Perez said post-Spain that he was trying to copy Max's driving style but struggled. Interestingly, Max said post-race he changed his style to generate more tire temperature. Something you picked up? To me, it was pretty clear that Max was going to longer corners and just spending more time leaning on the fronts than he normally would. When Perez said he was trying to adopt, adopt Max's style, as I say, he was probably trying to adopt Max's short style, um, the run race where he didn't need to do it or want to do it or have to do it. <laughs> Again, you know, I've, I've given Ferrari a hard time for not having a spotter out there. 
to tell Charles what Max is doing. And it's no bad thing to know what somebody else who drives like you is doing if he's going well. I'm amazed in a way that Red Bull didn't went on top of that to get Perez up to speed. Why weren't they saying that to him after FP3? I don't know. It comes back to this business. The engineers are never out on the track actually watching, but they are watching TV. So why aren't they seeing it? I just don't know. I can't answer that question. You know, you watch the Indy 500 and all the spotters are there on the radio. Go, go, go. No, no. You never have that in Formula One. Oh, no, we're on the pit wall. We're controlling the world. We're masters of the universe. Um, and if my driver's slower, it can't be because he's turning in in a different way to the other driver and he's creating longer corners. It doesn't show up on the telemetry, so it can't be possible. Everything that I'm talking about is never visible on the telemetry. We're talking absolute milliseconds, most of it. So forget your telemetry and get on and watch what's going on. But I'm, I'm staggered that Max actually chimed in with what I was saying. That's, a, that's good to hear. Well, of course he chimed in because that's what he was doing. You know, why wouldn't he?